you may not believe this, but we're at Coda. Welcome to Texas. So today's Friday. Um, today we're going to qualify the cars. Um, I'm racing in two cars. I'll be racing the brand new BMW M2 CS Racing as well as our number 55 car, uh, the Miata, that we are leading the championship in. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm nervous. Um, I've never been here, but we have Andrew Pinkerton in the car, we have Gino Manley in the car, and John Williams. So, you know, we really ought to be able to pull this off, but you just never know with this stuff. So I'm like super nervous today. We'll see how it goes, but um, it's just luck today's qualifying. <music> Waiting in line for the Geno ride? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the Geno Manly experience. I love that. I love that. Clay, those are some expensive shoes you're wrenching in. Oh, these are TJ Maxx. <laughs> I'm not Just about them. <laughs> Good morning. It's 7 a.m. and it's starting to rain. This weekend, it's all about this car here, uh, but also about the BMW getting its first uh, shakedown race to make sure that it's all good mechanically. It's not all that competitive this weekend, so there's not really any pressure to win, but the pressure is to keep it clean and make sure that it finishes the race without issue and uh, get some setup data. So um, the main point being this 55 car, uh, we need to keep clean and hopefully finish. Uh, we need podiums both days in order to pull it off, depending on how uh, Choice Racing finishes, because they're our closest competitor two points behind. So it's gonna be a race to the finish. How you feeling, Scott? I'm good, man. Get some sleep. Yeah, Good kick deal. the strippers out about midnight. <laughs> Plenty of time. <laughs>
okay i just started the race in the uh in gto class in the m2 and it was wild wild um but uh the car's not got the pace probably to win but i did manage to make up 17 positions from where we started um car's a little soft and i don't think that it's going to be competitive for a win or even a podium but uh still not a solid you know not a not a bad drive um so i have a little bit of a rest and then i'm going to double stint also in the 55 car which of course is leading the championship so that's the one where the real priorities are so wish me luck that's uh four stints in a day I just got out of the 55 and the lack of practice yesterday because the car was down during that time um, really showed today um, I had probably my worst drive of the year I'll bring it tomorrow but today it just really sucked um, I hope I drive better tomorrow so we have an update it looks like one of our front tires is pretty much gone so we're having to trade out for a used tire to finish the last hour and a half on. So um, things have gone uh, not in our in our direction. So hopefully we can put something together here, and Andrew can really uh, reel it back in. So terrible timing, we've got a full course yellow after we did our tire change, which means the car that we're racing is hitting now under full course yellow. So they're gonna gain an advantage that we really don't want them to have. 56 minutes to go. We did manage to undercut the uh, first place car. So now we're in the lead, but now we're on the same lap too. So this is gonna be a, a flat out race to the finish. So to add to the drama, we just had a red flag and uh, we're back rolling again. And as soon as we start rolling again, it's raining. There's five minutes to go and we are staying in front of him. There's a 16 second lead. It's coming down to the last lap. So we just collected our first place trophy, um, but uh, a nice side note, it turns out that we actually managed 10th in the M2, which is more than we thought it was capable of. So um, that is not terrible for the uh, car to debut with no setup on it. So we managed P10 in the, in the M2. That's a, a nice little high point. Hopefully we can build on that tomorrow. Good morning, Sunday morning. Um, we finished on a good note last night, um, starting in the uh, 25 M2 again this morning. Um, let's get it rolling and see what we can do today.
right now because my camera memory is gone. Um, so basically right now we're just trying to, we did a lot of damage control. Gino ran triple stints, John's in the car now, or John just got out of the car. Andrew Pinkerton is in for two stints. Um, and we've managed to make up the damage that was done. Say hi, Scott Lovett. Hi, Scott Lovett. And we are now putting back together our race. We are currently first. And as long as we hold out for first, we're going to take the championship. But we've still got another two and a half hours to go. Right there, Mobley. Yesterday, he went from P33 out to P14. Today, he took it from P44 out to P15. You probably couldn't hear any of that. So, Andrew's in the car. We've lost fourth gear. Second place is magically found 10 seconds a lap. Things are not looking good for us. So things are getting worse. We're in second place now. We're just hoping that uh, if we end up tying with Choice today, it goes by wins, the number of wins over the season, and we'll pull it off. Choice is leading their class. We're in second in ours, so we don't know what's going to happen. Another update. Say hi, Jeff. It seems like the uh, Choice Racing car may not make it on fuel either, so this, this whole thing's going to unfold in about the last 30 seconds. the point situation so the way we have it i project will be tied 129 to 129 which means we should win on wins but that's assuming a lot of my math is correct but uh i feel pretty confident about it um when you do our highest drop and the 51's highest drop uh it equals out to 129 points a piece depending on all today's totals so so uh, we have the win close. count we have the win count we're pretty sure um if not then it goes to seconds but i think we got the wins by one so We'll see one in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so Gino explained it pretty well. At least we thought he did. Um, but what ensued after that was the longest wait of our lives. Thank you. Look at those glasses. He had one gear at the end of the race and still managed a competitive time. So we're waiting. Things have been delayed, um, which is usually not good news. We think we've sorted out the championship, but um, it's taken a long time, so we don't really know. So we're all sitting here. We all have no idea who won. They're not telling us anything. We're all hanging out, waiting for uh, to find out for sure who managed the championship. So it's, uh, it's going to be a painful trophy ceremony. And then when they finally started making announcements, they were looking at us and Choice Racing, who we have been within three points of the entire season. And they said we had to go back to second places. Then we had to look back at third places. Then we had to look back at fourth places. Then we had to look back at fifth places. And every time they said it, our hearts just sunk. Because in our minds, we're just trying to remember what was our last fifth place finish? What happened? And we all thought back, we're like, the crash at Road Atlanta.